everybody. Um, this is going to be a CBB haul, obviously. And um, this is going to be on my August 1st sale order. If you didn't know, she had a 20% off any order $50 or more and uh, on the 1st of August, the 1st of the month. And this is going to be her, that was her last really big sale of the year. So I jumped on that right away and I ordered a big bulk of stuff. So, um, kind of give you guys a little idea here. Ooh, look at all that goodness. Mmm. Yes, yes, yes. And this right here that had my coffee in was actually what my Ray's Hot Cocoa Marshmallow candle was in. So, ah, it's all rinsed out and I'm actually using it. Yay. Okay. Let's go ahead and get started. I will go ahead and get started with the scent shots. I have seven scent shots. I ordered cucumber melon. I don't know why I do this. I don't even think my camera even focuses on it. But, um, yeah. I ordered cucumber melon because this is one of the scent shots that I ordered from my mom. And I loved it. And Chris loved it too. So, this is just true to the name cucumber melon. It's exactly what it smells like. If you smelled any kind of cucumber melon scent, that's also what it smells like. Um, I also ordered um, pink sangria. This is a new one. I saw it on the list, on the um, drink list, and I was like, ooh, this, is, this sounds pretty interesting. So I ordered it, and this smells exactly like a sangria drink. It, oh my gosh, it smells so good. The fruitiness mixed with the, the wine, the wine smell. Oh my gosh, it's definitely just just smells exactly like pink, like like pink sangria. It smells really really good, like berry berries and fruitiness mixed with that wine smell. Next one, I ordered a strawberry margarita, and I also ordered this because I ordered the heart candle in this for my mom. And I love the way that that smelled. And it smells exactly like the strawberry margarita. You could smell like, kind of smells like a little fizzy. Not a lot, but just a little bit. And then you smell the, the strawberry. You smell the strawberries, a little bit of fizziness, and then the kind of little bit of the alcoholic margarita part. I'm sure that once this cures a little bit more, then you'll definitely that um, margarita smell will definitely come out even more. Um, I also ordered. Um, ah, one. Uh, sorry, I um ordered melon ball, which uh, it just said it was just packed full of fruity goodness, and I just I love really really fruity juicy, yummy scents. So I ordered this. And it smells exactly like just a bunch of fruits put together. Look at that, it looks so pretty. It's a really pretty color. But um, it just smells like a bunch of fruits put together. I, it smells to me like cantaloupe and watermelon mixed together. That's what I smell mostly right now, but I'm sure once it cures a little while, you smell some more of the, of the fruits that are mixed in there, and probably once you melt it. But this is, oh, if you like, if you like really juicy, fruity scents, get melon ball. It smells really, really good. The next one was my uh, free scent shot was a uh, coconut cake. And that was funny because like I don't have any kind of like just coconut scents. I have like in my last video I ordered banana coconut cha cha. I ordered the uh, that comfort candle. But um, I just smelled banana in it. So I was really glad to get this one because now I could smell like what her coconut smells like. And to me it smells like a, like a, a fresh coconut not like your usual your usual coconut type smell like the artificial coconut but like as if you were to grab a coconut from a tree crack it open and this is what it would smell like so it smells like a straight up fresh coconut smell I didn't really smell any cake in it yet so we'll let that cure for a little bit and the last one I have is honey vanilla love dust and um, I wanted to try this because Helen talks about it and raves about it all the time so um very buttery buttery and whoa did you guys see that anyway <laughs> but i get so easily distracted but it smells like really really buttery that's what i smell right now just a buttery smell but uh, a creamy buttery smell 
So, I'm not quite sure. I don't remember exactly what is all in it, but buttery and honey. That's what I smell. Butter honey. Honey butter. So that's why I smell that one right now. I know a lot of people said that once it cures for like about two to three weeks, then it smells like, ah! like everybody says it's like the baby maker scent. So, uh, yeah, I really can't wait to see how that smells after it cures for a little bit. Um, speaking of Honey Vanilla Love Dust, um, I don't know if you've seen when I showed you the little overview of my table, there was one candle that was still wrapped up. Um, Helen has, I know I mentioned her in all my other videos, how she sent me a scent shot of Butt Naked and she sent me these um, little uh, silicone cups and everything came in a, the pack of two. I showed these in my last video. She sent me those and everything. She's just so sweet and everything and sending me that and she's also mentioned she was going to send it to other people and stuff like that. So, as a thank you... I ordered a candle for her. It's a Love Victoria candle in the, I believe I got um, Halo Pink glitter. It was some kind of pink glitter. And I ordered this in Honey Vanilla Love Dust for her. So I'm not going to open this or anything. I will, um, I tried to get it packaged and sent today, but the place was closed by the time I got there. So, uh, but as um, soon as I can, I'm going to be sending this out to you. I know you're watching. Hi, Helen. But um, this is my thank you to you. We will be getting this soon. So I hope that you love it. Um, so yeah, there's that. And then also my last sun shot, I ordered under the big top, which is one of the new ones that has come out. And this is for the uh, three ring circus candle. This is under the big top. Is, there's two of them that's based on that candle, the three ring circus candle, which is the one with the, um, the bottom blue layer which is the um, blue sugar cotton candy and then it has the caramelized pralines peanuts in there and then the top part the whip layer is her cotton candy and uh, fresh picked strawberry scent there's uh, two scent shots that just came out that um, are associated with that candle there's this one which is under the big top and this has cotton candy fresh picked strawberries and then the hint of caramelized pralines in it and then there's also ringmaster which has just the um whipped part which is the cotton candy and the fresh picked strawberries so this is under the big top and on the uh top of the scent shot is when i smell the cotton candy and the fresh picked strawberries and at the bottom is where i smell more of the saltiness from the caramelized pralines so um I'm really glad that it's that it's just the hint of the caramelized pralines from when I do smell it it kind of throws me off because it's the when it comes to eating in general I don't like to mix sweet and and food food so like salty and sweet I don't really mix those together very often I don't really like the way that that tastes so I guess I'm the same way when it comes to the way that it smells so it kind of like throws me off a little bit so I'm glad that it is just like a little a little hint of it because it it's just enough for for it to smell really really good. So if you want to try the um, three ring circus uh, scent without getting you know fully committing to the actual three ring circus uh, candle, then try under the big top. So there's that. Now on to actual candles I'm trying to figure out where I want to start um, I'll go ahead and start with all my eight ounce jars I ordered another surprise candle because I I just love my other one I haven't melted it in a while the last time the last video that I showed you guys it was in a floral scent which smelled like butterfly kisses I haven't melted it since then I've been uh, hardcore melting my blueberry cheesecake and oh I love that one oh my gosh and it's like it's like down to here now and I know I'm gonna have to order another like big candle in that but um the this one just has four layers it has this white layer this dark brown layer yellow and then this pink and this top layer smells like straight up cinnamon so to me it reminds me of the donut shop candle that I have where it you know the um it's all just the her uh, cinnamon cinnamon donut smell so I'm pretty sure that that is what this top layer is right here so um, there's that. So I have two surprise candles that I need to keep you guys updated with. Okay. I also ordered the, um, the eight ounce, uh, six pack, six sampler pack. I, uh, 
that sounded so like confusing and everything, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, and you can choose any scents you want, or you can actually have CBV pick the scent. I had CBV pick three scents, and then I chose three scents. Two of them are coffee scents, and then one of them is Bury Me Alive, which is, where is it at? Okay, which is this one right here, so I'll go ahead and start with that one. And the main reason, the main like thing that made me want to try Bury Me Alive is that she has Bury Me Alive in the soap. Melissa has Bury Me Alive in the soap. And I love the way that that soap looks and I love like fruity uh, scents also in, uh, I always get liquid soaps. But um, I have an order coming that'll be here on the 13th of my first ever soap order from Melissa. So um, there will also be a video coming on that soon. And um, I've been wanting to try the Bury Me Alive soap, so I wanted to try the scent first. And oh my gosh, this is amazing. Like, right off hand, right now, I smell cherries and cranberries. So those are the berries that I smell right now. I'm sure that there's probably like also strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, you know, all kind of different berries in there. But um, like I said, right off hand, I smell the, um, I smell cherry and then I smell blackberry in this one. This one smells really, really good. So yeah, I'm, I'm definitely gonna get the soap in that one. Um, the next one that I actually ordered is Caramel Cafe, and it looks like this. And this smells like walking into a coffee shop. It's like, it's nothing like a, a regular kind of coffee shop, not like those really, really fancy ones like Starbucks or whatever where you smell like macchiatos and, you know, all the fancy coffee drinks. This is just a normal coffee grounds, coffee mixed with caramel, vanilla, you know, your usual kind of uh, coffee scents. So, um, and this is Caramel Cafe, so obviously it's more caramel than anything else. And um, so you could smell a good evenness of the caramel and a good evenness of like the coffee smell. So if you like just the regular kind of, um, you know, when you walk into like the coffee aisle at the store, if you like that kind of coffee smell rather than like anything like super fancy and foamy and stuff like that, I would get um, Caramel Cafe. This smells really, really good. Is it better to me than the Kahlua Cafe Ole, which I have mentioned a lot of times as my favorite coffee scent? No, it has not broken past that point. It's like underneath it. <laughs> this, um, the second um, coffee smell that I got was Vanilla Coffee Crunch. And it's this white color right here. And this smells amazing. This smells really close to Kahlua Cafe au lait. Um, not so much, like obviously this is, um, vanilla coffee crunch so it's more vanilla in there whereas the Kahlua Cafe Au Lait it has like creme brulee in there mixed with a few other things so that one smells like more of a mix of vanilla and caramel and like chocolate kind of coffee smells and this is a straight just you know straight up vanilla coffee and this smells really really good so I would say in order of coffee scents that I have right now it's Kahlua Cafe Au Lait, vanilla coffee crunch this one and then the caramel cafe right underneath it but this one smells really, really good. Just a straight vanilla coffee scent. It smells really, really amazing. So I love that one. The three that uh, CBV picked for me, I was so excited. Um, she picked Jelly Donut. It's this gorgeous pink color. I love it. And at first, it doesn't smell good. <laughs> like when I first smelled it, I'm like, ooh. And after I like, kind of ran my finger over it a little bit then it actually smelled like like you know the um the jelly filled donuts that are, are really powdery on the outside it smells like that kind of jelly donut so it smells just like that obviously this needs like a few like a week or two to cure before it smells like just right because when Chris first smelled this he was like ooh. <laughs> I told him I was like I'll go like this and I went like that right away and then he smelled it he was like oh I don't really I don't really smell the jelliness of it so I said, I was like, just give it a week or two. Promise you, you're gonna love it. But yeah, so that's Jelly Donut. Oh, by the way, when he smelled the Vanilla Coffee Crunch, he went nuts. He loves this one too. The second one is Autumn Apple. And I have to say, 
this smells so odd. <laughs> like, it smells good, but it's so different. I don't really smell any apple, so let me just say that right away. It smells like crumbled leaves mixed with the fall, or mixed with like the autumn seasonal aisle at the store. So it's just, I don't know. I don't know if I really like this one or if it's just okay. It, Like I said, it, when you first smell it, it just smells so weird. It, it obviously needs time to cure to get a few, a few more of the, of the notes out of it. But smelling it right now, it just, it to me, it just smells like crushed up leaves mixed with like that seasonal autumn smell that's in this. What am I trying to say here, guys? What am I trying to say? It, it smells like that seasonal aisle in a store. Like, where everything's all like plastic, like they have those little vines with the leaves on it and stuff, and it's, it's you know, rubbery, but you could still smell that autumn smell on it. It's like that. So it smells like a rubbery autumn crushed leaf smell right now. <laughs> I, I don't know, it smells so weird. Like, I wouldn't think of a candle smelling like that, but I really, I'm gonna keep you guys updated on, on how this smells in about two weeks, and we'll come back to that one. This next one, I was so surprised. She uh, threw in Ringmaster. And this is the one I was telling you about that just came out. And it is for the Three Ring Circus. And it's just cotton candy mixed with fresh baked strawberries. I was so surprised that she actually threw that one in there, considering, you know, how new it is. And it smells amazing. If you've ever had fresh baked strawberries, it is a really genuine strawberry jam smell. And it's really, really strong. It's really heavy. And the cotton candy mixed with it really tones it down and makes it, you know, more of a creamy strawberry smell. And it's a sweeter, like sugary strawberry. So I really, really love this one. Really love this one. Can't wait to melt that one. Okay. So those were my eight ounce jars. And my next one is my first terrine. Isn't this cute? Chris, he said when he first saw these on the website, he said that he did not like the way that these looked. He, he thought that they looked really weird and he didn't like the handles on the side. And honestly, I thought they looked really weird too, but but like, they, I don't know, they were different. It's something different. So that's why I wanted to order something in that. And this is the 24 or the 22 ounce terrine. And honestly, when I first pulled it out of the package and I unwrapped it, I thought that this was way smaller than what I, than what I thought it was going to be because like, when you see it in the picture on the website, it actually looks like pretty fat, you know? It, it looks taller and, and fatter. So, I don't know, the eight ounce ones must be so tiny. Like compared to my head, I guess it, it looks pretty big, but like, but yeah, I don't know. It just, it, it came out smaller than, than what I thought it was. But still, it's really nice. And I ordered it in the Halo Aquamarine color. So there's that. and. If you guys seen my last uh, haul video, when I reviewed my scent shot of uh, banana kiwi, I went nuts. And when you first smell it, it smells gross. Because I think it's because of like the glitter that's all around it. Like the smell of the glitter mixed with it kind of just throws it off really bad. But like as you know, when you run your fingers across it and stuff, it brings out the, the actual smell of the candle. and then it smells the right way so oh i already reviewed banana kiwi so you guys know that i just love love this scent oh my gosh this is the best fruity scent ever i love it you guys need to try banana kiwi if you haven't tried it yet but i'm so glad i got this in this uh this big terrine i cannot wait to melt this i'm gonna give it about a, about another week it still smells right it doesn't smell like it needs any cure time, but I'm going to give it a week anyway. And, okay, I can't put off talking about this one any longer. This is the decorative cube candle. First off, this is, a, I got this in Butterfly Kisses, which um, I mentioned in my last video also. It's my favorite floral scent right now, hands down. This is the most amazing floral scent I have ever, ever smelled. It's just fantastic. You smell the, it's like smelling actual fresh, 
like hold flowers. It's just, it smells so amazing and creamy and relaxing. Oh, oh my gosh. But look at how beautiful this candle is. And it's in the a really nice plum purple color. You can really see, I don't know if you guys can really tell on the light, but there's the darker plum uh, cubes on the top and then um, in the rest of the candle mixed with it is like a, a lavender, a really pastel lavender color. And um, it, the color depends on what scent that you order. So every time you order a cube candle, it's gonna be in a different color. This is so beautiful. I, I cannot tell you, this is absolutely my favorite um, type of candle to order. I am so gonna order more of these. I don't know what kind of scents. I, I honestly just wanna order more and I don't care what scent it's in just so I can have a bunch of these in different colors. They look so, so amazing, so beautiful, just for decoration even, and just having it sat out here. I had it sat out on my table last night when I was opening my box, and I could smell that over any, over everything. And it's just, it's fantastic. It's such a beautiful candle and everything. If you want a candle just for decoration, you don't even have to melt it. Just have that out on display. It looks beautiful. Um, I will go on ahead to my Sweet Treats uh, candles. I ordered two of them. This is Lemon Lime Fizz. And um, I think on the bottom is the lemon, and or is the lime scent, and on this top is the uh, lemon scent. And then you've got the little embeds of the limes at the top. And it smells straight up like 7-Up. Smells like it's in that same realm of 7-Up, Ceramis, you know, the ones like that. And um, right now it smells kind of flat, <laughs> but I know a lot of people describe this as like, um, you, if you've ever tried your Fizzy Pop smell, it's really, really, really strong. And I had Cherry Fizzy Pop, and that one is extremely strong on the Fizzy. But um, with the lemons and the limes mixed in, mixed in with the Fizzy Pop smell, it, it tones it down some more. So it's not so crazy fizzy. It's just a, a perfect evenness of that fizzy smell. So that one is um, dude. That one is lemon lime fizz. My goodness. I couldn't remember the name of it for the life of me. Okay. And the second one that I ordered was is a cinnamon bun. And <clears throat> here's what the top looks like with the little embeds of the little cinnamon rolls. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. And I smell like, right away on the top I can smell like the sprinkles and everything. It smells like cinnamon and nutmeg up at the top and a little spicy and everything. And I must admit, I, I expected this to smell more um, like a sweet cinnamon bun, like an iced cinnamon bun, because I figured that this um, this layer on the top was like the really, um, like kind of like cinnamon bun icing, whereas the rest of it is the cinnamon, cinnamon bun scent. But um, on the top, there's also all the sprinkles and everything on there, so that those are, you know, obviously the cinnamon and the nutmeg where that smell kind of comes in, the spicy smell. but. I'm not quite sure if as I melt this, it's going to smell more sweeter or not. So I'll definitely have to let you guys know on that one. But um, yeah, I think that um, I think that I might have to try the gooey cinnamon bun um, candle next because that one is like looks like an iced cinnamon bun. And that's what I'm looking for. I really want a sweet icing smelled cinnamon rather than like the, the spicy cinnamon smell. So um, there's that one, and I am going um, to go on ahead and cut this off and have this be part one, and then I will meet you guys, because like the other video was a nightmare. It was, please remind me, it was like 46 or 48 minutes long, and um, I know that you guys love long videos. I love long videos too, but I'm gonna go on ahead and just split this one up for you guys. But um, yeah, so this is part one. Stay tuned for part two. I'm gonna have uh, two comfort candles. I'm going to have two of the regular big decorative candles. 
I will be reviewing my Chocolate Decadent Delight candle and I will also have my Cupcake candle to show you guys. So um, stay tuned for part two. Bye guys.